Mr. President, uh, we have a question from Howard Johnson. Mr. Johnson is from the British Broadcasting Corporation. Good morning, Mr. President. Howard Johnson, Good morning. BBC News. Uh, you had the chance to meet uh, President Trump in Vietnam. Yes. How did that meeting go and what did you talk about? Well, uh, I shook his hand. Uh, uh, and uh, before the closing, kept on saying bye-bye. I said, I'll be there. And he said something about, you know, you handle it very well. Magyabang pa ako, ayaw ko nang ano. I, I, I do not want to, these are the things that you do not brag about. The Marawi and the drug, words of encouragement. Uh, not extrajudicial killing. Well, he cannot afford it. Uh, we do not talk about these things because, first of all, they are, not, they are not true, and the second is we do not do it. And I said, you have to find a soldier or a policeman anywhere in the country. Why I ordered the killing of a man on bended knees in surrender or lying down. If at all, criminal liability is personal. That's the rule. When you commit a crime and there is no conspiracy, it is, it is not transferred to anybody else. Now, by saying that I will destroy you, I will kill you, that is not a conspiracy. That is the rage in my heart for treating the Filipinos like a shit. Yes. So you didn't discuss EJKs with Donald Trump, but you meet him again this week. Uh, I'm sure days. he will not take it up. Will you, will you discuss it with him in the coming days? But he's, not, he, he's not the Human Rights Commission. So it's only the representatives there. Because the U.S., like the Philippines, is run by three great uh, departments. But, I said, uh, the politicians there seems to be in parity with the president. And that is why when they disallowed by resolution, I think, which did not materialize, questioning the sale of uh, military rifle to the police, and we received the video. I went to China and Russia. Where, 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 where would I go for quality of work? But not in large. J.P. Soriano, Mr. President, is from GME South. Mr. President, good evening, and congratulations from a productive trip. Sir, may, may just briefly shift, uh, briefly go back to the topic of uh, code of conduct. Sir, the ASEAN has long held the position that uh, the code of conduct must be legally binding, uh, but China opposes it. Is this something to have the Code of Conduct legally binding, is this something that you would convey to Premier Lee when it comes to Manila for that? We never talk about sovereignty. Mm. We talk of who's holding the, the canons there and who has uh, the might to enforce it. You know, if it uh, comes to uh, the fundamentals, if it's just a matter of uh, talking hard and making threats, the United States did it for so many years now. As a matter of fact, the, the, the Seventh Fleet has two aircraft carriers there. Uh, not to mention the submarines prowling around you know, the town of uh, the Korean Peninsula. I said uh, nobody wants to talk, it, to, to talk about it because it is not the time. It is not the time. And you can only resolve it through dialogue mm -hmm. and uh, mutual consideration. Right. At this time when everybody has in his pocket a large number of nuclear arms, China, America, Russia, Iran, North Korea, it is not a good time to talk about quarrel. Sir. The ASEAN and U.S. Chair, as his chair, uh, are expected to sign in the, in the next few days 
the ASEAN consensus on the promotion and protection of the rights of the migrant workers. It's considered as the centerpiece of your chairmanship. No, one of the, even the trafficking, yeah. the more serious one is the trafficking of uh, human beings, especially, oh, and we're doing it here. There are provinces and cities who buy, kidnap uh, children and women, young men, and they are sold to slavery. It is existing here. And that was my warning about a month ago. But this time I will not tolerate uh, that kind of uh, situation where you kidnap people, uh, babies, young, and they grow up really thinking that they are really slaves. And they are going to be able to get them. Kagaya ng droga, hindi ko talaga matanggap yan. So I'm just warning, uh, alam ko yung nakikinig sa akin, alam nila sila ang gusto kong upakan. Pero hindi ko matanggap yung mag-kidnap ka ng isang tao tapos maglaki si akala niya. And he, he would have lost his uh, universal identity. Nanyakalain anak pala siya ng ano, tapos oh, bata pa na kidnap. Pagka ganun, I, I, I am ready to send uh, again the force of might of government. I will not allow it. Thank you, sir. That's the most cruel joke going sa kapwa mo tao. Hindi ko kayang tanggapin yan, just like drugs. Mr. President, our last question is from Hi. Ayi Makaraig of the Ajans France Press. Good morning, Mayor, and welcome back. My question is, um, President Trump has declared the U.S. opioid crisis a national public health emergency. How big of a problem is opioid addiction here in the Philippines? And do you see areas of cooperation with President Trump? in fighting the common problem of illegal drug addiction. Thank you. I will not give you a specific answer out of uh, respect. To. I have my own problem, and you will just say to me, take care of your problem. Uh, there's a lot of mess around there in your country, so why mess up with me? And uh, as I said, as a sovereign, only if he asks me informally, well, of course, stricter rules and uh, hard enforcement. Kasi dapat malaman niya to use the precursor ng mga drugs. There, I, I, I promise to give you one. I hope that it was already given to you. Of all the description, including the World Health Organization, yung iba, it's, uh, there's uh, an aberration in the mind. But ang shabu lang, because among others, itong papi, cocaine, hash, yung lahat, are really grown from the opium plant. Itong shabu is a chemical mix. That is why, ngayon, alam na nila kung bakit dumalaban. Now, all you have to do is to read the... Okay, ano it's a publication by the United Nations. And uh, nakakatawa dito because uh, risks. Itong dito lang sa ecstasy, ganon. Ang, but the harshest heroin, ganon. Eh, it alters the mind. But itong methamphetamine, shabu. Sabi ng... United Nations na. Uh, Shabu use sometimes triggers aggressive, violent, and bizarre behavior. Kaya mo kita mo, pag pinapatay niya ang asawa niya, sisigaw siya, pinatay ko na si Duterte. Or he cuts off the heads of uh, the other members of the family comes up with the, uh, I don't know what's the, what's the cover here? There's a cover here. 
It's the International Narcotics Control Board, I INCB. Precursors and chemicals frequently used in the illicit manufacture of narcotic drugs and psychotropic substances. Publication, United Nations. There's a copy, another copy published by the World Health Organization. Tapos kita mo yung mga ano, you know, they come to the Philippines and say, you know, Duterte, that's a social problem. It's an health issue. So, kung ganun, at ipinakita nitong mga, wala, ito lahat, uh, si Raulo, oh, ito yung listahan. 10,000, it varies. 4,000, 6,000, 7,000, 10,000. Gamay mo ng 20. 20. Bilangin nila yung ilan ang namatay. Tapos, if it is social problem, you look at it as a social problem. Why? How? How did it happen? How did it evolve? Di balik tarin mo. Drugs destroyed. How many? Dito sa wag, wag na yung iba. One, one million two hundred, uh, sabi ni Batu. One four. You know, you know, even if it's only one uh, Filipino, tapos gawain mong ganun buhay siya, and he is in a state of slavery. Yan ang masakit sa akin. Walang ginagawa na to kung hindi maghanap ng chemicals. Pag wala, magpatay. And that's the other side of the story. Just keep on. Hindi na alam nga ito talagang namatay sa inkwentro. And I do not need to point out why. What are the facts? God, look at your studies here. And you think that you are... Uh, ang pagkaalam kasi nito, uh, they interpret it as itong namamatay parang mga santo. Santo Rolando, Rolando Santo Ernesto, Santo... Hindi naman tinitignan kung ang kasalanan ng mga... Yan ang mahirap dyan. So, what the report to their NGOs at uh, according to... Including the European... Iyo. Sabi ko, wala bang abogado sa inyo dyan? Magtanong ka, why? So many there, but ang raming namatay nito, ano, bakit? O the answer is, ito doon sa side, paper. Because they are into a bizarre and horrendous thing. They go crazy. That is why ayaw maniwala, kung sabi, pinatayin ng polis, ah, sabihin lang yan. Hindi naman lahat ng polis pumatay. Eh, kita mo sa kalukan, pinaghabol pa ng adik, eh, natumba na yung mama, ayaw pa rin bumarin. It was only when he fell down and was struck, about to be struck on the breast, he fired his gun. O pero, eh, charge nila yun sa extrajudicial killing, plus na yun. You know what? It's all right to criticize. But to invite other nationals to help you out to fight a political war here. Talagang kaya ako nagsusuplado. Kaya ako narinig mo, minumura ko sila. Talagang sinasadya ko, binabastos ko sila. Kasi kasimpleng problema, tingnan mo, bakit hindi mo tignan sa kabila? Ilang bang bata na matay? Ilang mga anak natin ngayon na sira ang buhay. Ay, pa, pero mo, ang, keep on repeating the numbers of uh, AJK, AJK. Kung ako nga, sabihin lang nga, sige. Yung pinaka, ipak, ip, pinang, yung pinaka 10,000th victim. Sige ha? Tell me, where was it? Where was the killing? How was he killed? Where? And for what reason? Hindi mo masagot yan. And every time you just say, you do not give this guy the due process. Well, how about me? The right to be heard is of American audience. Ganil lang yung konstitusyon eh. Kinukpya lang natin. Or it was imposed on us. 
ayoko magsalita against uh, America because invariably I would be uh, well not really uh, it would reflect on Trump I, I do not want to miscalculate everything but I have to say something which re the truth in some matters De basahin lang nila ito galing ito sa kanila oh. cannabis ang pinaka the most uh, telling characteristic nandoon sa Shabu because it, it makes the guy violent and uh, ag aggressive pati bizarre behavior yan ang bizarre behavior yan pinapatay yung mga bata pinapatay yung mga babae kaya nung sa bulakan pinatay na na yung nanay na bulag pinatay yung asawa pinatay yung 14 years old pinakialaman pa yung one year old tapos sabi mo extrajudicial killing <laughs> tama kayo ako ang umabot doon talagang harap ng hindi ko kaya yung gano'n eh, sabi ko sa inyo hindi ako, hindi ko masikmura yung gano'n well ganito ang this is what I am maybe I am another bizarre guy good because I'm facing so many bizarre persons in front of me Thank you so much, Mr. President. That concludes our press conference tonight, and Thank welcome you. back to the Philippines. Good night, ladies and gentlemen. The most uh, productive, by the way, was our, our talk with uh, uh, Mr. C President Xi Jinping and uh, uh, President Putin. And in front of my cabinet members, both countries, uh, through their president, reiterated we will support you and we will provide you anything you need to solve this problem of terrorism potential. Terrorism, no quarters given, no quarters asked. I said they are preparing for retaliation. Well, we just pray to God that it will not happen. But if it, if it happens, uh, I said no quarters given, no quarters asked. Uh, maghanap na muna sila ng remedy kung magkita kami pero as I said during the campaign and I was asked, I think it was in Lasal, how would you deal with terrorists and drugs? I said, harshly. And you can look for the meaning of the word harsh in the dictionary. And that is the way that is my campaign promise. I will not for the life of me, renege on that promise because I won on the basis of those promises. Maraming salamat po. Uh, delicious. <laughs> <laughs>